Hey, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Kendrick Youngblood. Today I got a really interesting video for y'all. I've made multiple videos on how to get published and stuff like that, but I've never done one in which I walk you through one of my own submissions to a literary journal. I think y'all will really like this and I think you'll find it helpful. And if you do, make sure to like and subscribe and comment below what are the videos you'd like and I got y'all, all right? But before we get into that walkthrough of my own submission, how about I give y'all a literary journal to submit to? This is one I'm an editor of and it's called Space City Underground. We're fairly new and like our name implies, we're based in Houston, Texas. However, we accept poetry from everywhere and for people of all backgrounds, especially if you are of a minority, whether it's gender, racial, anything like that, trust me, we accept your poetry. We, we wanna shed light and raise awareness on different people's experiences, no matter how different it might be from our own. All right, our editors are phenomenal. I highly recommend y'all check us out. I'll provide the email to where you send your submissions to in the description of this video, and hopefully I'll have it on the screen so y'all can look at that. But yeah, definitely, definitely check it out. You guys will not regret it. Space City Underground, okay? We're accepting submissions up until March 31st, so you pretty much got three months. Make it happen. Okay, without further ado, let's actually get into the submission process. Here we go. I've just switched to the screen camera so you can see me navigate Submittable. I've actually mentioned Submittable multiple times on this channel, and if you have not already, make a Submittable account because that is pretty much the headquarters of all magazines and how to submit to them, okay? So definitely get a Submittable account. I've said it countless times, get one, please, please get one. All right, but if you have, awesome. I'm walking you through how I do mine. So here's how I submit. So when trying to find literary journals to submit my poetry to, the first thing I think of is the topics of my poetry, right? What kind of journals would I want my poetry in? So the first thing I do is I go to the Discover tab, all right? And that's gonna introduce you to various contests, journals, um, editorial positions, things like that. Every opportunity you could think of, chances are you're gonna find it in the Discover tab. From there, you're going to type in the search bar a specific filter to help narrow down your options for what kind of journals you wanna submit your poetry to. Now, I'm specifically going to type in African, okay? And if you're wondering why I'm doing that, it's specifically because the two poems that I'm trying to submit, ones that I think are polished enough for publication, they center around racial tension. And one of them in particular deals with my African identity, okay? So that specifically is what I'm gonna type in. I type in African, let's see what comes up. Okay, so I'm seeing Obsidian Magazine. I'm seeing that an awful lot. I've submitted to Obsidian Magazine before. I even have a draft for it there. So that's probably the one I'm gonna choose. So I click on that. From there, it's like, okay, okay, that's pretty cool. Let me, let me go to the website and check it out. That doesn't mean I'm just gonna straight up submit there just because it has themes that pertain to my poetry. But let's see if this is actually a place I'd like to submit to. So I click on Obsidian, it takes me to their homepage. It's like, okay, okay, this is pretty cool. I, I, I like what I'm seeing. Aesthetics do actually matter to me when it comes to the kind of journals I submit to. Is that shallow? Maybe, but I want my stuff to be in the best of the best, all right? I'm gonna just keep it real with you. It's not just about the content, but also the format of the platform it's gonna go to, all right? Now I'm looking, it's like, okay, this is pretty cool. I like what I see, very uh, Afrocentric. I'm gonna go to the issues, check that out see what kind of poems are in here and if it resembles anything I'd like my poetry to be associated with. Ah, dang, okay, their system is down right now, so I'm not actually able to look at the poetry they've got. I'm just gonna make a quick disclaimer. I have come across this journal before and their their poetry is pretty good. What they, what they tend to accept is pretty nice. And I was hoping to show that to you, but that's fine, just take my word for it. Another thing that I think is important to do outside of looking through the accepted poetry in the journal is also to go to the About tab. Make sure that their mission and goal is in alignment with what you hope your uh, poetry gets associated with, right? Okay, so we're looking at the mission statement and I can see here that there's things like uh, they take uh, they take work from Africans globally, a uh, contemporary poetry, so that's in line with what I'm hoping to submit. Uh, people of the African diaspora, right? So that, that fits with what I, I am. Okay, so there, there doesn't seem to be anything specific about what kind of topics they like to accept. Simply, if you're a part of the African diaspora, you're good, you just submit whatever, and that's pretty much the only stipulation that they have, it seems. So that's pretty cool. Um, with that in mind, yeah, I guess my stuff does fit. So uh, from there, let's actually go to how to submit. 
Let's go to that tab. And here it's saying, we are now only accepting submissions via our online submission management system, which is via Submittable. All right, so that's cool. Uh, they simply want me to click Submit to Obsidian. So I do that and boom. All right, so it's very important that I read carefully about the guidelines they have set because based on uh, what was in the about tab they didn't specify anything about what kind of topics they like and don't like but here there might be some very important things to know otherwise like if i don't follow the submission guidelines they give me that can result in great poems that i might have not getting accepted because i didn't follow directions all right so let's see the reading period is from september 15th to january 15th so that's actually in about like a week's time well by the time i submit this video it's going to be less than a week but you, you know what i'm saying and yeah it even goes on to say that submissions sent outside of the reading period won't even get looked at so <laughs> it's a good thing i'm seeing this now next up it's talking about simultaneous submissions this means that i can submit my two poems not only to this journal but to others as well of course it's very important that i notify them <laughs> immediately if these poems are accepted elsewhere. So I'm gonna make sure to do that for sure. You know, it's only courtesy. All right, so some important things I need to include a cover letter, right? That includes titles of my work as well as where else I've been published or gained awards, stuff like that. All right, and they also wanna know if I'm associated with the staff on the journal in any kind of way. And I'm not, at least as far as I know, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I have some like fourth cousin or something, but yeah, I, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Also, they give me stipulations as to what kind of file I'm able to upload. All right, so I'm seeing things like Word, uh, PDF, and RDF. I don't know, I don't even know what RDF is, but <laughs> I'm just gonna do PDF, that's fine. They're saying that my work must be typed and double-spaced. Well, actually, specifically for poetry, it may be single-spaced, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. I should number my pages. Submission should follow MLA, specifically for citations and works cited, and then Chicago style for grammar. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, let's see what else. I can submit a total of five poems, all right, but my total submission can't be more than eight pages long. So let's say I have one poem that's four pages long and another that's also four pages long. That's it. Even if the max is five poems, the limit is eight pages. So I have to keep that in mind when I am choosing what poems I want to submit. What else, what else? Okay, so there's rules about fiction and drama, but that doesn't apply to us. And then finally, they tell us how long we should expect to wait before we get a decision on our poetry, right? So they're saying three to five months is how long we have to wait. All right, that's cool, no problem, I don't mind. Again, they reiterate, submit up to five poems totaling no more than eight pages. The two poems I wanna submit are called Crumbs of Nija and Tulsa Race Massacre. Notice how I decided to separate them by commas. That's typically how they like it done so that they know when one title ends and when another begins. Remember, they said to put the titles of your poems in the cover letter, so I made sure to do that. And then also they wanted me to talk about myself, provide a short bio about what my accolades are, where I've been published and things like that. So I did, there you go. And then finally, you know, they told me specifically all right, we want PDF or Word. So I specifically gave them PDF. They have acknowledgements that I have to check and I selected the one that fits me, right? I'm stating that I self-identify as a member of the African diaspora. So <laughs> there you go. And now we submit. And that's pretty much it, pretty much just. <laughs> After that, you sit back, relax, and wait the three to five months until, well, <laughs> you get published or, you know, rejected, sorry. So yeah, also, you know, like they said, they take simultaneous submissions, meaning you can take the same poems that you submitted to this journal and send them elsewhere, all right? You don't have to just wait three to five, uh, three to five months to see if you're gonna get accepted or not. Like, no, that's, like, getting published is a numbers game, all right? So you wanna play the game the right way. Now, of course, if you do get accepted elsewhere, make sure to send all the other places um, that you sent your poems to, make sure to send them a note saying like, hey, don't need to look at my poems anymore. They're already accepted, so don't bother. You know what I'm saying? Say in a respectful way, of course, but yeah, just keep that in mind. If y'all want a tutorial on anything else, let me know. If you want me to walk you through how I write poetry, let me know. That'd actually be pretty fun to make. Deuces.